Good afternoon, design and technology students of 2021. Um, I promise you I'll be back for our second session, uh, basically the third video, and I'm going to do section B. And again, just to confirm, 0445 stroke 52, you have just done the current paper, May, June 21 paper. All right while it's still fresh on your mind okay so let's look at this section b um yeah it's asking you to do either do b4 or b5 i'm going to do both of these questions okay just in case you've decided to do something else i will cover both of these questions okay so the first question here is a given development that you have to basically do right yes parts is given and you need to finish it Right, so the, it says here a holder for the mobile phone is shown below. The holder is made from one piece of folded cardboard. All right. As you can see, there's one, two, three legs, basically. And, um, and it's asking you to complete the development net of the mobile phone holder to scale one is to two. That is basically half all of those measurements. All right. So, we are going to look at this and straight ahead we will see that this part here at the bottom is obviously this part here, right? Is the top part here and then we work our way through to the bottom piece here which will be part of this slot area over there. Okay, so we are going to look at the first measurements here. Just to orientate ourselves, we were looking at this part here is to confirm these, this part here is the slot area there, right? Is that part here? 30 millimeters and you can see basically the visual clue tells us that that there is the same distance as that which is 30 millimeters. You can see it's 30 millimeters. And then you're going to have that area there would be this area there. And then you have the cutout over there would be that cutout there. And then going from this point to that area would be going from there to there. All right. This would be just a mirror image. We can always complete that later. Okay. So looking at this distance from here done which is that area here, so let's call this part A and that part A, right, so let's call that part A and that's part A. Now we are looking at part B, which will be that area there, right, that section there, and that's the part that we're going to work on, and then the last part is obviously this area there would be C, which is the lower part, it's going to be the lower part here, right. Um, B is 110 millimeters long from this area here down we would go 55 right so we're going to measure 55 over here make a mark and draw the line in so that's our first line just to get to that area over there which is 60 in other words 30 millimeters would give you 15 either side of that line 15 there and a 15 there right guys so now we can say that from this point here from this point here okay we are going to go in okay so that point is this point here we're going in towards the narrow end which is 60 millimeters on this side so we've got this line drawn in there, right? Okay, so, so let's put a folding line down here so that we just have a clear view of what we want to do. Now from here, okay, that's that's section B, that's that back part, right? That's that B. 
Now it folds over towards C, so it opens up. So we've got a distance here of 30 millimeters before we get that 16 millimeters. So from here we are going to measure down 15 millimeters. Half of 30 is 15, right? So we're going to measure 15 down. Giving us that point. Draw a line across. So now we're on this level here, right? That's in line with that 16, right? So that's in symmetry. You can see the visual clue basically gives, tells you that that's in symmetry. So we would have to have 8 millimeters either side of this line. 8 there and 8 here. Okay, so we're going to draw that line in so long. Okay. Okay, then from here we've got a 70 millimeters down. So from this line that we have just drawn, we are going to measure 70 millimeters down. In other words, half of 70 would be 35, right? And you can see uh, 35 will take us to this little line over here. Okay. And just extend that line and basically we can now just join those two points and that's that that's that basically that's the hole right now we are going to have now obviously we're going to have from from 70, okay, which is this distance here, going down, we have got another point that we have to determine, which is the bottom point here, right? And it tells us that from this point, the whole distance here is 140 millimeters. So we can measure from this folding line 70 millimeters down. From the Let's just go over to this side instead. We measure 70 millimeters down. And we now have that line. So that is our right at the bottom line. Okay, so it tells us now that it opens up from here. It opens up from here. It opens up towards 80 millimeters. In other words, I'm going to have to measure it's 40 millimeters, so it's 20, 20 either side. Forty. Right, so that gives us that line over there. That is 40 millimeters um, because that is 80. And now what we do is we just join this point here to that point there. And there you are, guys. So now what we do now is we just complete the other side of it. Okay, and do the same on this end. We do the same on this end. We, we make a replica of this. Oops, sorry. And Complete. That's 20, 20. We go in from there to here. Oh, no, I made an error there. I first have to come across. Five millimeters. Okay. And then I would go to that that point over there. So it's a slight angle. So that distance there must be same as this distance here, right? Or vice versa. OK. 
Okay, I'll draw it nice and dark so guys, so that you can all have a clear view of this. And I just extend that center line over there. Alright guys, that is now the full development of this mobile phone holder. Okay, it's worth 11 marks and um, it wasn't too bad question. Right, so let's look at B. Right, it says here, in use, the, in use, the tongue of the mobile phone holder comes out of the slot too easily. Alright, so what they say is that this tongue area here, okay, slips out of this slot, which is the actual, the slot is actual like a, like a cut in, there's a cut there. So, you can imagine this part here, okay, because surely that must be in line, okay? It must be in line. You can see they line up there, right? Right to the top there and same here. So that area, this here, is your tongue, okay? And this tongue fits into the slot. So now what they say is that it slips out very easy and I can see why right so now they say it comes out of the slot too easily in the space below use sketches and notes to show a modification to the tongue that will prevent it from coming out of the slot okay so I would I would imagine if you go and look at uh, boxes and packaging etc you will always find a, a, a little bit of a, a, a cutting into that tongue just to prevent it from slipping out so basically what I will do is I will do I'll make a sketch right let's just do a freehand sketch here to angle let's just do this so I'm copying basically the tongue area so okay so basically what this is it's this part here. I'm zooming onto this area here. Okay. And what I will do is I will I will cut in this area a little bit deeper. If you go and look at if you look go and look at your cuts, your packaging, they've got an extra slit in here. Alright? Now for that purpose, it actually locks this, um, this would go in, into this slot, okay? And because of this area here, it's, it's now offline, so this part and this part is sort of loose, alright? And that makes it from uh, slipping out. And I would even go one step further. I would cut this at a slight angle, something like that. Okay, so now because of that slip, it serves as a temporary lock. Okay, so this area has been cut in, it's a cut in. Um, prevents the tongue from coming out okay so that is basically what I will do with three marks guys um, I think I think that will be 
securing this locking device right here and right there okay so it will not it will it will definitely take some effort to pull it out okay right let's look at question c let's look at question c all right so it says here another design for a mobile phone holder is shown below all right this mobile phone holder is to be made from styrofoam okay we all should know what styrofoam is another word for styrofoam is polystyrene okay question number one apply thick and thin line technique to the mobile phone holder all right for four marks so you will know that um, this needs now to be changed all right into thick and thin line technique so that is the emphasis 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 here thin and thick line technique so as we all know so basically all these lines here okay would be this would be thick lines and now guys they they not specific they don't specify whether you have to do this freehand or 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 with your equipment okay but um, I'm doing it freehand it doesn't matter you should be okay I think it would be okay with doing it freehand as long as you apply the thick thick and the thin line technique correct okay and you remember the spider technique that we have used okay the spider technique is um, is about the spider that will come uh, that will walk for example onto the surface and as soon as it goes around this edge it disappears and if it disappears then it means that that line needs to be thickened now these lines here would stay thin lines okay these lines would stay thin lines because you as the spider comes from this surface here and it curls around to that surface the spider still it, it doesn't disappear so it's still there it's still visual you can still see the spider and the same here it could curls up or it crawls up here onto this surface and then onto that surface so you see the spider and therefore that line will stay a thin line okay now obviously this part here would be a thick line because as soon as it goes around that it would disappear and the same with this line here thick thick that will thin that's thin that's thin that's thin that's thin this is thin 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 um, all right guys that is basically it that's basically it all right is there anyone else that um, okay no I think that's fine right so the second question guys it says they render the mobile phone holder to look like styrofoam okay now styrofoam is just a it's just one basically one color and it's it's like you basically just going to have a darker uh, plane than the other all depends on where your light source would be right so let's say my light source is round about yeah okay round about there then obviously this part of the holder would be darker okay then for example this part here okay so here you will just have a slight a slight difference okay it will hardly be light it will hardly be have 
it will hardly have a, a, a color. So this shade would be slightly lighter. Whereas here a little bit darker. Okay, now remember you can use the cross-section um, shading technique as well. So that's the, and then this one would be slightly darker, all right? Because I mean, you, you, it's around about around the corner. Okay, and then this here would also be darker. And then, of course, this area here, I would, I would make that slightly darker. This is hardly shaded. It's very light, very light, because the light is at the top, and it's all in the light side of it. Okay, and then, of course, I'm turning my desk or my board as you can see and then of course what I can do is just to make it easy for me I would use uh, some guidance some guide here just to then I go a little bit lighter And even lighter and this would also be dark dark in the corner there I think that's that's basically it eh? okay so you can see the light is around about here and it shines down and you have, will have shade here more shade than for example here in this area here all right and then definitely a lot of shade on this part here because the light sits more to the top there so you will have more light here or less light rather and of course this part here is uh, that stays a little that stays lightish of color all right so i think that's worth two marks it's a lot of time spent on it don't spend too too long time it's only two marks don't add color because it's not been it's not asked to add color so it's only to render okay different shades okay now number d the mobile phone holder is made from four blocks of styrofoam again styrofoam as shown below complete the exploded isometric exploded isometric view of the mobile phone holder below by adding missing side pieces okay so guys Basically, you need to finish. It says here, completely exploded. So you know what exploded view is? It's a, it's a view that's been taken apart. So all these five, four pieces has been taken apart. And that's now what you have to do. You have to basically complete by adding the missing side piece. All right. And then the last question here is, name a suitable adhesive for joining the styrofoam blocks together. So let's look at that later. Let's just do this one question first so what we're going to do is I'm going to extend this line okay and you can see that this two pieces these two pieces this piece and this piece are exactly the same piece right so I'm basically going to copy paste that area over here all right so I'm going to 
use my isometric drawing uh, equipment which is the 30 degree equipment just turn this thing around Right, there's my 30 degree line there. Right, and I'm going to copy these lines over here. This line I'm going to copy, move it across, I'm going to copy this line here. Okay, and I'm going to copy this line over here, across. Okay, so those, these are the lines that I will copy first. Okay, it just makes my task easier, and then of course, this one instead of measuring, all right? Instead of measuring. So now that I've got all my lines uh, across, I will now measure. So I'll just copy this here as a twin, as a 15, 16 and a half, I would say. Yeah, another method of doing it is to basically just use your compass, all right? Use your compass, but really, do you think it's necessary? Remember, I've taken these lines across, okay? So now what you do is you just measure that, and I think it should be around about four. Yes, it's four. So I will just make four millimeters here. And I will then copy this, these lines. Extend that line. From here, and up. Okay, again I will measure four millimeters here. And I will then copy this or bring this line across so that I can have that line over there. Same there. And complete that. Complete that. And now I will just, I'm just going to darken this one slightly. And now I will just copy these, these points here. I will join these points here. Right. And that, guys, gives you four marks, all right? Four marks for that. And then the last question, as I said, name a suitable adhesive for joining the styrofoam blocks. Okay, now, styrofoam is like polystyrene, as I said, and it's very um, sensitive to, to glues, like uh, contact and... Um, you know, uh, glues that's got all these chemicals in it, okay? So the best glue to use for this specific um, material is PVA, the water base. It's the normal water glues, okay? So it's the white PVA, so I would say you have PVA, water base, okay? Okay, so there's a lot that you can actually use. PVA would be one of it. It's only worth one mark. PVA, you can use hot, hot glue guns. I'm just going to put that one here. Hot glue. Hot glue guns. Okay, low temperature though, all right? So these are the familiar ones that we always work with. Okay. And then there's another few, it's like the dull chemical glue that you can use. 
you can use the UHU uh, POR glue and then the best one to use but it's a it's a pretty uh, it's it's a, it's an all rounder that you can actually use um, it's called the Gorilla original polyutherine um, glue but for our school purposes we will use the basic ones which is the familiar ones and that's the PVA and the hot glue gun all right guys that's that's for question B all right before section B okay until next time I'm gonna do the last video that you will see a little bit later on that will be B5 all of the best give me a like and um, subscribe if you want thank you bye